hello guys welcome to the channel so i got a ticket to this great metaverse event happening right here in london i just want to ask you what's nft what's blockchain come on what's web3 what's even the metaverse what's this technology all about how can one get into this technology and how much does one make let's go Are you the organizer? I'm one of the organizers of this beautiful Metaverse Web3 conference that's been hosted by Flax NFT. It's a platform, it's a marketplace, and it's launching. And look around you, look around you. That's just one room. This was organized two weeks ago. All right. Two weeks ago. Go inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go inside. Have a look. Yeah. Somebody can't grab a quickly yet. Yeah. Now, I had a very, very bad dilemma. Last week we cancelled because of the tubes. Brian, nice to meet you. How are you? Yeah, I'm good, man. Thank you so much. All right. So, uh, what are you into? Okay, we call ourselves as NFT Factory. Okay. So we do uh, have like a, a two different section uh, within the company. We have like a B two B and B two C. B two B come from like a blockchain uh, with like five years experience. Okay. But last two years we are into sorry Web three means NFT marketplace. We have found it. Okay. And we did like hundred thousand NFTs so far. Wow. Also. Okay. And we are the biggest NFT marketplace from India mm. and we are the only NFT marketplace from Asia to partner with Twitter. So we do play to earn games, we work with celebrities, we work with brands. We have the game, is we manage the esports. Mm. It's not click to earn, we run tournaments and our brands are sponsoring the tournaments. How long have you been doing this? Uh, I've been doing it like more than two years now. Two years now. Wow. Two years now. Does one need a university degree to get into this field? No, no. 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 So, I mean, we come from a blockchain company. So we started like a very small. Now we are about 350 people working under one roof. So we got everything game studios, artists, blockchain developers, and then you name it marketing, so everything from Chennai, South India. How can someone start? So how can they start to get into your uh, where you are right now? All right, okay. Uh, it depends on I mean, which background they have. Mm -hmm. I mean, if somebody, you know, for, for what I believe, you don't have to create something very new because it's already there. Oh. So just a transformation from Web 2 to Web 3. You don't want the real and the real. We just connect Web2 people with the VCs and convert them into Web3. So otherwise, it may take a long if you, if you wanted to start from the scratch, but you don't need to because we have to encourage Web2 companies and Web2 users to come on to Web3. So if you create something new, they may compare, but the easier thing is just bring them from Web2 to Web3. Yeah, how much do you make doing this annually? Oh, right, okay. I'll tell you the truth. What we do is we funded by Ferrari Capital. We had like a 12 million pounds. This is kind of investment. So at the moment, our games played by 10,000 uh, players a day. And also we did 55,000 NFTs for the game. We got sold out under nine minutes. One of the, I mean, when we did the drops, it was like a two, uh, 1250, and one of them went for like a 12,500 $12, dollars, even before we launched the game. So this is, we give uh, the users flexibility and then they can move up their NFT to our market, from NFT marketplace to our game, they play and earn, rather than you just mouse click, click, click and earn. But at the moment it's just an investment, our game is break even and we are bringing, getting revenue from our blockchain, our B2B company. Thank you. Thank you so much. Good meet you, sir. How are you? Hi. Nice to see you today. Alright, so what are you working on? Right, so I'm founder of Flexfog, Flexfog okay. and also director of Flexbase, a crypto exchange regulated from Lithuania. Okay. And also we are working in the NFT marketplace to bring ultra-hybrid solution and ultra-hybrid ecosystem in NFT, as hmm. well as the artificial intelligence chat that is the world has been seen it. That's what we are bringing in the early 2023. So this will be a revolutionary product for us that we are introducing in the world. So is your company here or in India? No, we are a company in the UK. Okay. Uh, 
few of our resources are based in uh, Asia or some other country in the world. Okay. How long have you been doing this? I have been working in the IT and telecom about 17 years, particularly in the blockchain, three to four years now. So now I am just mastering myself and uh, collaborating everything together to have the cutting edge solution for the people now. How do you tackle your challenges and how do you provide solutions to your customers? We are a tech company. We are all, always somewhere fitting ourselves. Where there is a problem, we bring a solution. Yeah. So that's how we target our product to solution to the end user. So it's an individual customer or it can be a company. Okay. So when there is a challenge, we bring a solution for the people and the community and the world. And my last question, how much do you make doing this? You know, this is something like, you know, I have the thing, the crypto exchange and the IT and some other manufacturing business. So if you uh, just precisely ask me the, in the crypto, like our exchange is making 30 million a day. Wow. That's the, that's the turnaround for the crypto exchange. So also, in the other hand, the IT ventures, we make quite a few millions. No problem. Thank you. Right, so nice I, to see you. I appreciate Thank you. it. Thank you. Nice to meet you. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. All right. So, uh, what are you into? Me? So, I used to do like, I used to be a crypto uh, analyst and then um, I got into NFTs a bit because I saw like, like a lot of people making good money. And then after that, um, I worked in an in a NFT uh, firm for a while. And then after that, I was like, you know what, let me take a step back, take a little break, and do that break. I decided I want to do, I want to create my own NFT agency, right? Okay. So, because it's, it's, a, it's much more sustainable than a normal NFT project. Whereas, this, well, sorry, not an NFT project, but as like flipping NFT, but when you're flipping NFTs, like, there'll be some moments where you can make money, but then there's also like, it's not a sustainable, like, in income uh, stream. Yeah. So it's like, you know what, let me create an NFT, uh, an NFT agency because I have the knowledge for about NFTs and I generally feel I can benefit people because there are a lot of people there who don't know how to create an NFT project. A lot, especially a lot of Web2 businesses which don't know how to create an NFT project. So I'm like, great, this is a perfect opportunity for me to capitalize on and actually take advantage of because then I can take these Web2 businesses and present them with the opportunity to come into the Web3 industry. Get me? So that's what I'm trying to build right now. I'm trying to build an agency. So how long have you been doing this? In the NFT space? Yeah. Oh, okay. So I did crypto uh, analysis for one year and then after the first year, I spent another year doing um, NFT. So, yeah, so you're in crypto, you're in NFTs. Yeah. My last question, how much would you say you make doing this annually? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I can't give like a... Ooh. <laughs> Maybe like, six figures, five figures, okay. yeah, in general. I'd say like, it goes up and down because if you make some, you lose some. But nice to meet you. Uh, nice to meet you. Okay. okay. Guys, this is uh, the youngest uh, CEO right here. I'm going to talk with you. How are you? I'm good. So what, what have you built so far? So we built a marketplace okay. um, to inspire young entrepreneurs and creators okay. to become the best that they can be. And also in, in the last two months we've been, making, we've been trying to uh, create a game and it's a football game. Okay. And we've been, um, in the next two months we're going to be making NFTs and yeah. You enjoy doing this? Yeah, we enjoy it. How did you get into this? Um, we got it into it. I drew, I drew a picture of um, something called Candy Floss Island and I was inspired by Mr. Beast. All right. Good luck. Continue your good work, okay? Yeah. Okay. Nice to meet you. What's nice the name? Nice to meet you. I'm Janine. So what are you into? I do crypto and community building. So I have run a hub around the corner just now there which brings together creators, creatives, and builders. So I help everyone from DeFi to crypto to NFT projects to metaverse. And we just bring them together and connect them to the right people. How long have you been doing this for? I just joined the summer actually. So like um, August, I walked into the place and I really loved the community and I kept helping out. And then sloping up the ranks. Do you enjoy doing this? I love doing it. I think the community is very welcoming. It's very open-minded. It's very helpful as well. The DLD hub is full of amazing people that help each other out and I just found it so warm and welcoming that I decided I want to spend more time with you. That's 
one need a university degree to get into this? Get no, into this. I don't think you need a university degree. I think you can learn it by yourself. And the question is, what do you want to know? So if you want to go more on the coding side, it's probably good if you have some computer science background. If you want to understand the social implications of like NFT and trading, that's classic economics. And then there's obviously art and fashion and metaverse. So I guess whatever your niche is, you just start talking to people. They're very helpful. They're very uh, easy to explain you things. You just ask questions. Everybody is welcome to help you out. My last question, I know you are just new to this, like you've just said. In the next two or three years, how much do you think you'll be making doing this? I hope a lot. A lot. Thank you. Nice. How are you? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. How are you doing? Yeah. So what are you into? I do digital marketing. I, um, well, mainly, mainly conversion rate optimization. I look at your landing page and I optimize it for your conversions. Make sure you get some sales. If it, acquisition. if it your company? Yeah, so I have a uh, freelance gig called uh, Growth Optima, which is me and my friend, we came up with this idea of helping people and optimizing their uh, conversion rate. Uh, con I mean, conversion in general. How long have you been doing this? Well, we, uh, I've, I've been in marketing for about two years. Two years. Uh, but conversion rate optimization and running campaigns, I've been doing it for about one and a half years. You enjoy doing it? Oh, it's the best. Helping people, helping people grow. Yeah. Does someone need a university degree to get into this? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Just go on Google, yeah, go yeah. on YouTube, as you are, and, learn, yeah. and just know. Yes, yeah. I think that's the best way. I don't think this is an arbitrage economy we are, being, we are going to manage, and I think it's best to learn on your own and get some uh, uh, experience in it by doing it for free, and then grow. That's what I would recommend anyway. If someone wants to get to where you are now, how can they start? What's your advice? Well, I would say just start. Just go and just help other people out. Be like, hey man, I do this. Go on LinkedIn, meet, meet people. Come to events like this and uh, just help people out. And then when you help people out, you're building your experience. And when you build your experience, you increase the arsenal of skills. And my last question, how much do you make doing this annually? Oh, well, it depends, you know, each company pays you a different amount. And uh, at the end of the day, the goal is, uh, the goal is that, well, I would just say that you can make upwards of 6 to 7K per month just by handling and doing the right things for right people. And that could be the whole digital economy. So you can kind of help people out content way, or content strategize, and you can make a lot if you know your worth. Thank you. So what are you building? Uh, so at the moment we're working on a DAO, a uh, part of Africa Investment Club. Uh, we have a farm in Ghana, in the Volta region. And uh, about two years ago we started looking into blockchain and how to manage various different and how we work as a team. So basically think about a consortium, but then a digital consortium. So for instance, if you have a property, for example, and you invest in property, you can have a tokenized version of that property on the blockchain. And then everyone owns a piece of that, so it's sort of looking like a fractionalized model. So, um, yeah, I'm just excited about the space and uh, excited to meet loads of different people who are building uh, amazing platforms. So, how is uh, Africa preparing to us this technology? Africa, well, we have one of the youngest populations, and I think that for economic empowerment, we definitely have to look towards blockchain. Um, so that means coding, people learning solidity. Um, I think it's going to be great also for transparency. So if you think about one of the issues we have in Africa is our land registry. So imagine you have land registration on the blockchain. But the blockchain is its immutable nature. And what that means is that once there's data on the blockchain, it can't be edited by anyone. So then you can trust that the information on there is accurate. So um, I think that's going to revolutionise the way property ownership is transferred. Um, but I just think, yeah, we should really look into that. As well as obviously outside of technology, agriculture and food security. My last question, looking at the, the finance part of it, how do you finance what you do? So at the moment it's more members pooling their resources together. So this is what an investment club is about. Anyone can really set up surrounding common interests. So you can set up a club, which is a travel club, for example. You can set up a, an investment club. You can set up a, a woman's empowerment club. And that's just about people 
coming together with their own commonalities and having shared interests. So, uh, so what's your name again? I'm Violetta, nice to meet you. Okay, so what are you into? Well, I work within uh, ReFi and DeFi. Um, we are organizing a very, very big conference in Barcelona, which is around NFT utilities and different creative industries. And I also work in film tree, film and NFTs, and socialization of, of different creative industries to empower the creative economy. Did you come to London all the way from Spain? Yeah, so I live between Barcelona and London. But, oh. uh, based in Barcelona. We have like an NFT and web three community, which is quite, quite big, similar to one here. So uh, yeah, we are organizing the first international, you know, creative hackathon conference and festival in Barcelona. How did you get into this? I've been in the space for a couple of years now. Um, it was predominantly with De DeFi first, uh, so it was like more about, you know, trading, and buying my first Bitcoin and Ethereum, and then I transitioned towards the NFTs, digital assets to empower creators in the last um, two years. So if, if someone wants to get into your position now, how do they start? I think for me it became quite naturally because I've been always interested in technology. But asking questions, connecting with people, going to events like this yes. one, it's the easiest way actually. Because usually people in Web3, they're very, very open to answer questions. And be on Twitter, be on Telegram. And yeah, just be curious and be, make sure that you get the right information. So events, meeting people in person is actually one of the best ways to connect. Fine, 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 I'm good. So how is the seminar? How do you see it? It's phenomenal. We've got so many people from all over the Web3 space. Mm. We've got real estate investors. Um, we've got legends in the building from Microsoft. And we also have young entrepreneurs and creators that are offering an opportunity for you to be the best you can be by uh, creating a platform. Mm. Which so, so basically, what are you into? What I'm into is I'm into really um, providing services and creating a platform to inspire the next generation of okay. creators and entrepreneurs. Do you enjoy doing this? Phenomenal, man. Phenomenal. How long have you been doing it? We've been doing it for about three years now. Three years. I've been in real estate for about 10 to 12 years. Okay. And um, yeah, it's amazing. So what's the advice you would give somebody that is just starting and wants to get into this field? The main thing is find a mentor that is aligned to your core values. Okay. That can show you really understand your own core values okay so there's a uh, so, so a mentor okay. and a good mentor that's been there before. and lastly how much would you say you make doing this annually um we, we make a whole bunch a lot a, whole, a lot of impact All and right. that's the most important thing is that people move with wanting to make a lot of impact thank you thank you bro the drive 12 22 yeah my side